Welcome back. It is cool tonight. We're down to 52 degrees already. Humidity though ticking up a little bit as the dew point is very close to the actual temperature and when the sky is clear, we look at the dew point this time of year to give you an idea at how cool it could get tonight. So we're likely going to drop to 50, but I'm also expecting dew points to drop even more tonight. So that means the temperature will drop even more and I'm expecting us to drop into the 40s as we head through the overnight hours. You can't see much out there right now. Just a dark Georgetown circle on our shore auto sales sky cam. Uh, no cars out there at this late hour. Future temperatures tonight, as I mentioned, we're expecting upper 40s overnight tonight, so it will be a chilly one if you're an early riser or you're staying out very, very, very late tonight. And then tomorrow uh, we're looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, so that's above average. It's going to feel pretty good, uh, but we are going to warm up a little bit in terms of the humidity, especially by Sunday. Tonight we're going with 47 in Salisbury, 48 in Georgetown, a little bit milder at the beaches, low to mid 50s tomorrow. Look at these temperatures. I hope you can get out and enjoy it. 78 in Salisbury, Wallop 75, Ocean City 73, Dover 76. It warms up even more on Sunday with a little bit of extra cloud cover. Low 80s, 83 in Salisbury, Melfa 82, Cambridge is 81. Georgetown could get to 84 degrees, so approaching the mid 80s. But the humidity will be a little bit higher on Sunday, which means it's going to feel a little bit warmer. We stay in the 80s come Monday and Tuesday, but we begin to cloud up partly sunny skies uh, to mostly cloudy skies. And we are going to be tracking the chance for showers too. just isolated showers Monday, Tuesday, but becoming more scattered and more likely and steady late Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Guys. Daniel, thank you so much. Before we go, we've got to shout out some of our potential players of the week. Brandon, we had some awesome performances in these games. First of all, Casey Heath of Kent Island absolutely stole the show uh, tonight. 44 was all over the field, and he got into the end zone. How about that? Also, Wayne Knight also had a also Wayne Knight also uh, had a touch three touchdowns yes. in the game. Who yeah, and uh, and Owen Doyle as well for North Carolina. He was absolutely stellar out there. A couple of touchdowns. Uh, Sawyer Ott with the golden goal for uh, Sussex or uh, for Caesar Rodney earlier in the week. We also had Casey Heath, like you mentioned, Trey, and Wayne Knight for the Smyrna Eagles. Uh, Trey, you have anyone that you got in mind? Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be Casey Heath, right? Like I said, he just absolutely stole the show in this game. Owen Doyle is a fantastic player as well. Uh, so we got some dogs as far as football goes. Sawyer Ott, too. Uh, he's pretty amazing. Um, so I think uh, that, that I am definitely uh, going with Casey Heath. What we saw tonight at Y High was pretty amazing. But that's going to do it for tonight. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. That's right. And be sure to keep up with us all weekend long and have a great night. See you.